why I thought it could jump there. I just thought, yeah, this is fine. Nope. <laughs> hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Bayonetta. I have to say it like that because they do that in the intro, and it's really good. Anyway, uh, we are going to go on to Chapter 2 as Bayonetta kind of ran into that dragon head thing that we saw in the, you know, the last couple of videos. Uh, that was attacking her, but it came from her past, so I wonder if we're gonna have more flashbacks because now there's a child involved and I'm wondering who she is. Either her daughter or her sister. Something like that. Well, we'll find out. Anyway, let's continue. Alright, we're back with Angel Attack. How many bullets do I have in this one? Oh, okay, there we go. Oops. Okay. Uh... I missed! Okay, I only have two shots left. Um, two shots left, and then I just shot that one. Ah! Maybe I should get that tiny thing, right? Mm-mm, didn't work. <laughs> I only got 31 points, I suck at this. I will... Bloody Rose will temporarily raise one attack temporarily. I mean, hmm. Magic flutes said to have played by the mythical sea beast known as Sirens. Oh, I love Sirens. Those are like one of my favorites. One of my favorite mythical creatures is definitely Sirens. Uh, causes heavy damage to any nearby angels. I mean, I could buy it. Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try it. I I just want to try it. Um, and then we'll exchange one point for you know halos. Okay, where are we moving on to now? The place is just like on fire at the moment. <laughs> Chapter 3, The Burning Ground. Oh dear. Let's go talk to Rodan before we continue. Hey friend. No matter how much you ask, I'm not putting a chainsaw on your arm. <laughs> what? So what okay. I have a- uh, yeah, I can, I can buy some stuff. I- I still want to buy, like, techniques for her. I think- I think that's the smartest one to do. Um... Witch twists. What is this? Open up a magical quarter warping above your opponent's head and delivering a devastating kick. Can I see that? While holding- okay. Oh. Oh! I kind of like that one! Okay, yeah, I'm definitely buying that one. That one seems a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't want to go buck wild without, with like, using all of my halos, because I don't know what I need and, like, what I don't need. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm using it scarcely at the moment. So I'll leave it like that for now. I think it's good to just buy some moves for her, because she definitely needs more uh, techniques, so I can do more combos. Alright. Yikes! You gotta get out of the- oh. Never mind. <laughs> oh, he's talking to us. I think the dark world is upon us. Wait, what? She's not really a witch? If I was your child, I'd be an awfully ugly witch, wouldn't I? <laughs> Yours is a face only a mother could love, and one I could never forget. If only I could remember where from. Well then, my apologies. If you are not my awakener, then you and I have no... <laughs> she no just like, quarrel. shut the hell up. <laughs> You're in no position to decide that. See, my infernal partners love my ability to eliminate your kind. I figure your sacrifice would shut them up for a while. Oh, okay, there they go. Ooh, yeah, everything's still falling. Or exploding. What is that? Lava? 
Oh, damn! Okay, everything is on fire now. That's, uh, good. <laughs> Go take that and you too. Goodbye. See you later. Let's do this one. Yeah. Oh wait. Hang on. Oh shit. I always I always like time it wrong when it comes to like dodging the attacks. That's what I always do. I need to work on that, seriously. I would have a better, um, what's it called? Score. By the end of it. Can I just pick this up just in case I need it? Alrighty. So we need to go this way. Oh my goodness. Okay, everything's definitely exploding. Um, this way? Probably? Huh? Huh? Oh my god, get out of my way! You can eat shit, dude. I don't care. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I thought I just fell off there. Are they gonna chase me or something? What happened? That was terrible. I didn't fight any of them. I just ran away. <laughs> um. What the heck is that? It looks like a crocodile. Second spear. Oh, you guys were telling me first and second and third were different tier levels of how strong each uh ah, angel was was and like you know ooh ow is there any way I can like cancel attack like that if I'm like uh doing that? So I wanna know. Whoa! Jesus! Damn, Bayonetta. <laughs> There's still something here. Oh, it's- oh, it's like half a disc. I need the other half. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Uh, fantasy, see, impromptu. A uh, piece of- yup, okay, so we need only a- it's a half only. Do I have to fight someone else, or do I have to find it on the map? Go here. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Uh, someone else also mentioned about Bayonetta's shadow. It doesn't look exactly what her shadow is um, portraying. She looks like a butterfly because she made a contract with a demon. I think that's what it was. Don't know about anything about the demon, but assuming the demon is to be related with uh, butterflies and stuff. Let me go to this side. Oh, shit. Oh, can I look this? Yeah. Alright. There you go. So, we got more stuff. Um, let's go over here. I think that's everything generally that I need, right? Oh, I can lift something. Ha! Huh. Alright, thanks. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, we're back here again. Ooh, do I need to be here? Aha, there we go. Oh shit. Not again! Ah! <laughs> They're running away too! My turn! <laughs> what is she doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's right! We can just walk on the wall. Of course we can. Okay. Okay, got that. We can grab him too! Oh man, okay. Uh, so like, do I just do I just land here? Oh, I have to switch on the walls. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Switch where I'm going. 
So we go here, jump this way. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, um, what do I do? Do I, ah, okay, okay, got it, got it. I can jump, I, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 bad, 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 bad. <laughs> Okay. I didn't know I could jump wall to wall. I thought I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm gonna die. Okay, okay. Ooh, no, again. Big no. Ah! Okay, there we go. We're okay. Maybe we're not okay. <laughs> we're definitely not okay. Oh my god. Run! Uh, 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 what do I do? Okay. <laughs> Damn, this whole place, like, all the people are here, are they dead? Like, what happened to them? Oh god, okay. About the Umbra Witches, detail number two. Let's read this. Umbra Witches, controllers of the dark power. The ways of their discipline were actually quite varied. Breathing moments, medicine, and tactics were joined in the Middle Ages by training the operation of heavy weapons in a curriculum whose total, uh, whose total breadth and intensity are, are hard to ascertain. This training forged both the body and the soul, honing each witch into a vessel capable of withstanding the rigors of magical arts and allowing one to begin to interact with the one dwellers of the magical realm. This interaction with the world of spirits lies with the very core of magic. To these dwellers of the magical realm, into the layman terms, are the most closely fit with a common conception of demons. Developing demon-like powers, it seems this was one of the reasons these women were burdened with the sad fate, always living in the history's shadow. I have been able to gain no further solid information regarding the magical arts. As the witch clan has long been since annihilated and their memory forgotten, the residents of this town de detest them with all their hearts. To elude their uh, existence to quite the taboo, yet the key is to unlocking the witch's mystery still remains. In Vigrid, the man held up by many to be a paragon of fate continues to seek out any remaining witches. Are the witches once thought to be wiped from the earth still among us? If they are, how have they survived this long? What do they know? And where on earth could they be hiding? Finally, I have obtained scraps of a document that appears to lay out one another element, uh, elementary principles of the magical arts. I am unable to decipher the writing on the document, but it seems to describe um, a martial arts technique known as dodge offset. I pray it will be used to someone, so I have included it with these notes. Oh, cool! Okay, do we get that? Oh, sick! Okay, let's see. What's going on over here? Oh, oh god, it's the alligator thing. <laughs> oh, cool, there's two of them! Wow! That's exactly what I want. Okay, guys. <laughs> Ow! I, oh, I dodged it though! down, take the pose. I can't see anything. There we go. Oh, no, it got me. <laughs> I thought I did something right. I was like, yay, I did something. Nope. There we go. To 100. I think 100 is the max for that one. What is going on? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Might as well take advantage of this. What shot? Alright, there we go. 
Where the heck am I now? Switch back to the guns. Oh my god. Oh shit, oh shit, come on! No, let me dodge! Oh god, not dodge into the lava, damn it! <laughs> bad at this game. I just realized how terrible I am at this. Okay. Uh, um. Okay, I can pass through here. Oh my god, too many things are- Oh god! No! Yo, the camera- the camera, calm down. So... Go through there! Oh god, it's Rodan! Big red catacombs. Jesus. Okay. Hey, let's talk to uh, Rodan, because I need help! <laughs> hey, check this out. What are you buying? What are you- <laughs> <laughs> What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> That's Resident Evil. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get some techniques. What's so that? Can also hold it by. Okay. Oh. So it's like that. It's kind of like, um, Singer with Dante. Okay, I'll buy that one. Um. Let's see what else. I mean, this is another one. I could just get this. Technically, right? While in midair. Oh, so I can dodge even further. So it'll be like double. Ah, yeah, you, you know what I need at this point because I, I suck at um, dodging. So I'll get that too. I think that's fine. Thanks, Rodan. Bye! Okay. Let us continue this way. There's another book here. Notes on the topic of magic. All right. The magical arts of the Umbra, their true significance is best understood in the context of how the Umbra were able to use this magic via direct contact with demons in Inferno. It is thought that these witches underwent strict training in order to master the various techniques. However, the truth is colored by the fact that the witches left people awestruck and were greatly revered. The true root of their power was none other than their ability to take unbelievable strong demon energy and bend it to their will, using it freely. The witches' direct contact saw them reaching into the heart of Inferno's darkness and summoning the beasts that dwell there, drawing out their incredible magic and destructive powers. The witches under contact with these demons were able to exercise power far beyond any that could be obtained by mere mortals, to the extent that some may even term these powers as aggressive or brutal. It was thanks to these powers that the witches boasted such awesome force in battle. From the V. Gridian religion perspective, those living in a human world find interaction with other realms to be incredibly difficult. Residents of Inferno also find it impossible to manifest themselves in the human world. This is why witches re require some sort of catalyst to summon demons into the human world, channeling the spirits via this medium. The catalyst most often used by witches was their hair. Oh, so it is like just their hair. I thought it was just cause like, you know, I have a power, so everyone has like a different thing. And I thought Bayonetta's was just like her hair, and every other witch was different. So I guess they just used their hair then. Hmm. It is well accepted that hair has many uses in the magical arts, and the witches call this use of their own hair the Wicked Weave. 
It was said to have been used not just to summon demons, but also to summon magical items as well as forming the witch's uniforms. That is why Bayonetta's hair comes from her bodysuit, because essentially that is her hair. I would also like to touch briefly on the dis despair these women must have felt. To gain the incredible power afforded to them, they were forced to trade their souls to the demons of Inferno. Within the trinity of realities, it is believed that the deceased find their souls sent to heaven in an endless cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. However, witches were met with only a single possible fate, death, followed by endless torment and inferno. Once one had set foot upon the path of magical arts, they laid nothing but their harsh reality that there is no turning back, despite the fact that it was in a path desired by a never-ending stream of believers. How these women captured so many hearts, minds, and imaginations remains unknown. Okay, so that explains the butterfly that, you know, the, the butterfly demon that's connected with uh, Bayonetta. I hope we learn more about her, because I would like to know. All right. Um, does it matter which way I go? This is an ancient portal-like object here. There may even be evidence of this town, this ancient civilization created in the catacombs below. I guess I can't use it, right? I don't think I can use it. Maybe I can use it later. We'll see. Okay. We'll go this way. Okay. I don't know why I thought it could jump there. I just thought, yeah, this is fine. Nope. <laughs> this is not fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> the way she poses always cracks me up. Alright. Thank you for that. So where do I go then? I can't go that way. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's working now. Light is flooding out of the gate. There seems to be a completely different environment on the other side. Whoa, where are we now? Um, Paris, Paris, um, Paradiso, is that how you said it, right? The Garden of Light? That's how Rodon said it, I don't really remember. Oh, nope. Okay, um... Okay... Ah, we use the streams of water here. Woo, I almost fell off. Okay, we're okay. The heck is that? Huh? What did I get? Reversing time? Oh, that is so cool! It seems like the strange hourglass is able to turn back the sands of time. What was once broken is now whole again. I wonder if that power stays true in other dimensions as well. Okay, give me give me it. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so we can build the bridge again that just got destroyed. So I don't have to jump and die. Because, you know, that was stupid of me to try to jump. I always think I can make it. When I see things like that, I'm like, I can do it. And then I end up not being able to do it. So, <laughs> let's see if this will work. I go back to the portal though. Um... <gasps> oh, okay, I thought I was gonna fall off or something. Okay, good, good, I'm glad I didn't die. Okay. Bring it back over here and see if we can reconstruct this bridge. Please bring it back, thank you. I don't want to jump. <laughs> okay. Aha! There it is! Thank you! Oh god, I see the angels in the corner. Can I just make it to the other side and then we can fight? Like, it's not a big deal. I can't see anything! Okay, there we go. <laughs> go! Oh my god, I almost died. Holy crap. 
Get back down here! Can this guy not come over here or something? Alright. I'll take it. Alright, let's see what's over here. Ooh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. No, please, I can't jump! No! Damn it! Oh! <laughs> I keep dying at every game. If there's if there's something that requires me to jump, I'm just automatically dead. Okay, let's just go off of that. Holy crap. Let's fucking try that again. I think I gotta go faster. I stopped because it, it freaked me out a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my god, I almost didn't make it there. What? Oh, okay, okay, we did it. I thought I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 what is happening? Oh my god. Ow! Excuse me, whoever is spitting fire. Can you please calm down? Oh my god! Oh my god! I jumped at the wrong time. Okay, let's let's get the fuck out of here. See you later. We can walk on the walls, but I gotta be careful. Okay. So we're just gonna- Oh my god, no, bitch! Bitch, no. Bitch, no. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay. Conveniently, the clouds come in again. Lava is pouring from those holes. The catacomb must be devastated by now. I guess I'll go this way. Hey, another book! Old Colosseum. In Vigrid's long projected history, there was once an enormous Colosseum built facing the sea. It remains today largely intact. According to record, the Colosseum was not used for a martial contest or other games, but as an altar for the worship of one of the era's gods, for being a, a being known as Fortuda. Oh, okay. Even today, as the urban functions of the city move in the Isle of the Sol, the Colosseum holds a special place in the religious beliefs of those who worship the Laguna. Even though the winds of the time were long since destroyed the road leading to the structure, forces of a treacherous passage through the cliffs and streams of those making the pilgrimage to a Colosseum endless. Oh, okay, cool. Um, can't go that way. Um, there's lots of birds here. That's the Colosseum right there. Hey, I did it! Even though I died! How many times did I die this once? <laughs> so every time I get a silver, what is Luca just gonna show up? Is that what's happening? Anyway, I'm going to end this episode of Bayonetta right here. Um, again, it's it's very overwhelming for me. I know that, like, you can switch her weapons and do her... It, it's like Dante. It's like playing as Dante. Um, playing as Dante in Devil May Cry was very overwhelming for me because he has a lot of, like, different weapons and different ways you can uh, face as him. But um, when I was fighting as example Nero or Virgil it was easier for me because I could focus on the combos and not worry about like which weapon I'm using it's the same thing with Bayonetta she has different types of weapons I know that I don't have many I only have three but like she's different types of weapons and can you do different types of combos 
it's very overwhelming, and then that I kind of panic when I actually am fighting stuff, which is why I forget to dodge. So, I don't know. I hope I'm getting better. I feel like I'm not. <laughs> but what doesn't help is I need to stop thinking I can jump across stuff, and I can't, because uh, I'm just wasting my life and my health bar. God. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode of Bayonetta. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!